Well, hello. Thanks for clicking on the video. Obviously, I am Nate. <clears throat> so, I just want to say uh, it's been a great year. It's time to do the top five. Of course, I'm a little bit late. You know, normally the top five should have come out like at the very end of last year, you know, last week. But uh, due to the fact that I still work a full-time job, I wasn't able to get that done in time. So, we're going to get that done today. So, uh, anyway... I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like I said, this is going to be a little bit on the longer side. I was going to do a top 10 and got to looking at the way I was editing the videos down, you know, trying to cut them down and still show enough of the homes. We were looking at like a 40, 45 minute long video. I'm like, nah, it's a little too long. So we're just going to do a top five. Now, I tried to do one from not the same dealers, you know, so, so a different dealer included in this top five in every video. Unfortunately, that didn't happen because I wanted to include a single wide in my video also. So, you know, and that ended up being two of them from the same dealer. So anyway, but other than that, you know, there's not a whole lot of repeat dealers. I tried to get one from every dealer that I've been to or at least close to it. Obviously, I've been more to more than five dealers this year. <clears throat> but with that, we're going to kick it off with video number five. Some of you may remember this. I filmed it as one of the very first videos on my channel. And then I found it again as an updated version at Homes Direct in Albany, Oregon. This is going to be the loft. Now I'm going to start off just about every one of them with the floor plan first and then go into the uh, video itself. Only one of them doesn't have a floor plan, but let's kick off with the loft in number five. This is the loft. I am at Homes Direct here in Albany, Oregon. This is a Palm Harbor home made directly across the street here. So this is an ultra-modern, single-wide, 1,150 square foot, two-bedroom, two-bath. Okay, so when we come in, the living room area. When I say modern, single-wide, look at the fan. I've never seen one like that. That is just, I don't even know. <laughs> You've got a nice dining room here, plenty of room for seating for four, which is more than you probably need, seeing how this is a two bedroom, but you've got all this cabinet space here, all this cabinet space up above. I've been waiting all day to film this one and I finally got to it. Look at all those cabinets in your kitchen up there. I mean, look how big this kitchen is. I mean, have you ever seen a kitchen this big in a single wide? I mean, look at that. Let's just stand back here and let's take a look. It is so big, I can barely get it all in the, in the camera. You get the black Whirlpool appliances to go with it. You've got this really nice glass backsplash. Sink above your window. And remember, I was pointing out all those windows. Just look at all the windows up there. The best kitchen ever in a single wide. I will just put it out there. The best kitchen ever in a single wide. If you know of a better kitchen in a single wide, let me know which home and where at. So the master bedroom is a very large bedroom. Like I said, this is truly a master bedroom. Unlike some of the single wides that you get where the master bedroom feels a little on the cramped side, you get a bathroom that is just 
it's a true master bathroom. It's not your standard. We don't need the fan. This is not your standard single wide bathroom. You get the big garden tub. Now, mind you, they use the Formica stuff on the outside here, but you do have the glass inlay there. Like I said, this is not your standard master bathroom in a single wide. You've got a lot of space in here. And you can option in a tile shower. And you've got a really large closet even. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Now, like I said, that was the loft. Now we got to get into video number four. By the way, in case I haven't mentioned it, stay tuned till the end of the video. Yes, I know I'm pointing that way. Yeah. So I've got some announcements coming up for the channel. So they'll be better for you guys. A little bit more work for me, but better for you. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you appreciate the, you know, the effort I put forward. And uh, anyway, just stay tuned till the end, and plus we got Raiden coming up here in, in a little bit too. And then uh, now we got to get into video number four here. So video number four was on uh, one of my last trips, which was to North Carolina. Uh, this one is in, uh, actually in Raleigh, North Carolina. This one was at Clayton Homes. This is the one that does not have the floor plan. I wish I could have got a floor plan. This is the one that currently is not available. I actually expected this video to do a lot better than it did, and it didn't do as good as I thought it would. It will be available again probably in about a year and a half, I think is roughly what they were estimating. So this is, and I don't even have the name of it, but it is a two-story home over 5,000 square foot by Clayton Homes at Clayton Homes in Raleigh, North Carolina. So let's take it away. And boy, do I got a treat for you today. This one is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, triple wide modular. And look at that right there. That is amazing. Wait till you see the inside of this home. I can't even describe it to you. Y'all are just going to have to wait till you get to the inside. This is an off frame modular. So to start with, you've got this really nice entrance way here. I mean, look at the ceiling. <laughs> have you ever seen that in a modular home before? That kind of a paint job. How about your display area here, right? When you walk in, of course, you've got <clears throat> plenty of room for a bench. And we've got our coat closet. Yeah, look at that. Of course, we've got the really nice entertainment center. And look at the texture on the ceiling even. This area is massive. Now, I don't even have a floor plan available for this. So I'm not gonna be able to put up any measurements for you. I don't even know the overall square footage because they're not really trying to promote this home at the moment. But I asked them if I could film it and they said yes, because I just, I saw it as I was walking by the other homes and kind of peeked in the windows. And I'm like, okay, I gotta get this one for the guys. They're gonna love it. Fully adjustable shelves with the center support there. So that's really nice to see. Great big stainless steel sink. Of course they went with the Whirlpool stainless steel appliance package in here, or excuse me, the GE. Last one I was in had Whirlpool in it. So just look at this and then you got your Gray subway tile backsplash. And 
Of course, I don't sure if I pointed out, you got all these archways everywhere. Now this is coming from this direction. So just to give you an idea, we came from the hallway over there. So we got this whole back hallway behind the kitchen. And then we're going to come out over here. This is the master bedroom. Now you have, we're going to get this out of the way to start with, dual walk-in closets. So here's an unobstructed view of the other closet. Now this is a very large bedroom, as you can tell by backing up into the corner here. We've got this giant soaker tub, once again filled with the, the fake bubbles. So in your shower, you've got the bench. You've got this really nice sandstone colored tile with this beautiful inlay here, but it goes all the way to the ceiling. Now let me just tell you, those are nine foot also. So you could have nine foot ceilings up here also. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? That's insane. Nine foot ceilings and you're upstairs. Look at all the space you have to work with up here. What did you think of the uh, that two-story Clayton home? Like I said, I know some of you didn't get to see it. You know, so a lot of you guys are still new here. My channel's kind of growing pretty rapidly at the moment. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Like I said, unfortunately, it's not available at the moment. It will be available, they said, year to year and a half. So if you're in the market for a two-story Clayton home, and that one was priced really, really well for the size of the home, at least at the time that it was the person that owned that one bought it, I think they said they paid just a little over 300 for it, 350 somewhere in that price range. So really good price on that home. But now we got to get into video number three. Now this one is called the Columbia. It is also a Clayton home, by the way. So, you know, I was kind of trying to go with different manufacturers too, but okay, so this one is called the Columbia. Like I said, it is a Clayton home. Um, this was also in Albany, Oregon. So Two of them from the same trip. Um, but this one I really like because of the hidden bedroom. Yes, this one is a four bedroom. I believe it is two and a half bath, maybe just two bath. I can't remember right off the top of my head, even though I just got done editing the video. But I believe this one, like I said, it's got the hidden bedroom. That was like one of the most unique things that I have found in a home that, uh, I figured, you know, I got to show it again. It was done back at the beginning of 2022. So, you know, back then I was just barely over 10,000 subscribers. I'm basically at 20,000 as of filming today. So there's a lot of you that have come along since then and may not have seen this video. There will be links in the description to all the videos in this video here. So go check them out. I hope you enjoy this one. This is the Columbia. Today we are at uh, Clayton Homes. You're gonna love this home. Trust me on this. This is a four bedroom, two bath home with a lot of things that I have never seen in a home before. You're really gonna like this one.
Take a look at your living room to start with. Really nice tray ceiling. You've got crown molding that goes all the way around, including up here in your tray ceiling. We have soft clothes in these doors. So you can get fully adjustable shelves. So they're not soft clothes, but you can get them as soft clothes. And so my understanding is, after talking with the manager, you can option in cabinets to go all the way to the ceiling there. And you can also get doors in front of all those little cubbies. So just something to keep in mind. He says a lot of people don't like the, uh, the dust bunnies that gather up there, so you can get the cabinets to go all the way to the ceiling. That way you don't have to worry about the dust bunnies. Really nice counters here. I believe that is quartz. The pantry, it's a nice large pantry for being a corner pantry. Even wraps around over here a little bit. All right. So now we are coming into your den. Really nice den. Once again, you've got this really nice, and this one's even bigger than some of the others I've filmed. Entertainment Center. Clayton Home and also their subsidy Schult Homes likes to hide things. <laughs> Bedroom number four. This one, as you can tell, they have it set up as a options room so you can kind of see some of the options that are available in this home I believe this is your flooring so here's some of the options you can get for your flooring here is some of your options for your countertops and your doors Then you got tray ceiling in your master bedroom. We even got hangers in here so you kind of get an idea how things are going to look once you start getting all your clothes in here. Look at that. Look at those sinks. So anytime you get a Clayton home, you do get a lot of storage cubbies. See lots of storage down below here too. And a nice size linen closet in here. Now I don't believe there is an option for a tub and a shower unless you go with the shower tub combo is the way the bathroom is laid out where this shower is the backside that wall there is your closet All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the Columbia what did you think of that hidden room let me know down below in the comments what you thought like I said that's one of the most unique things that I have seen in a home like I said you don't usually see hidden rooms in a home so uh, anyway, we got to get on to number three before this thing ends up like super long. So number three is the St. Andrews. This one was filmed at uh, Homes Direct. This is the second one by Homes Direct. This was also in Albany, Oregon. So three of my top five came out of Albany, Oregon. Go figure. Like I said, um, now I would like to have included more from other places. Like I said, I just ran out of time. 
This one, I knew when I filmed it, it was going to be in my top five anyway. So I had to make sure I put this one in the top five. I wasn't sure what else was going to be in my top ten, top five. But this one, when I filmed it, and I walked into that master bathroom, I was like, and I will say it again, because even to this day, it's like, OMG. Like, this is something you just don't expect to see in a modular home or manufactured home. This one is a modular, can be had in a manufactured. But once again, this is the St. Andrews coming in at number two. Hope you enjoy, and you definitely got to stick around and see the bathroom in this one. So today I have a treat for you. This is the St. Andrews here at Homes Direct in Albany, Oregon. This is a three bedroom, two bath home. This home is made by Palm Harbor. The master bathroom, OMG is all I can say. Just wait till you see the master bathroom in You even get a small porch off the back here. Now this is not a very big porch, as you can tell. Now I can't go out there because they've got it blocked and locked and all that good stuff, because it's not an exit. You could easily add to that and make that a really large back porch. You can see that it's raised up. They've got the marble backsplash in there. Now it does have the dual sinks. You got the lots of cabinet space down here. I can clearly see that that's where your dishwasher would go when you order this home and you get the dishwasher. These are the black Whirlpool appliances shown with the home. These are just show models that you're going to order off of. Let's see. Take a look at this big corner cabinet here. Fully adjustable corner cabinet. I'm assuming the rest of them are. Cabinets go almost to the ceiling there. And over here, you've got that marble tile or backsplash all the way to the bottom of your counters. Then they went with this glass and stainless steel inlay. Looks really nice all the way around. And over here is your breakfast nook. But you can see your room is really large. Now your closet is in the bathroom. Look at that. Talk about luxury. <laughs> I was like, oh my, when I walked in. You've got a marble pedestal to step up to. You've got the marble all the way around your tub. This really nice glass and stainless steel inlay. Multiple layers of it. I mean, like, what more could you ask for? <laughs> I'm telling you. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is a nine foot long shower. Now it's only about three foot wide, but that is a nine foot long shower with a big bench down at the end. You've got this great big drying area. Is And look at the size of the tub to go with it. And so <clears throat> if you look at it, this is kind of where I got my measurement was from another home that was kind of similar to this, but you've got one, two, three, four, five, six and a half 
And that tub is five foot long at least, six foot long. Almost six foot long tub. Of course we've got the standard dual sinks. They are separated. You get drawers in both of them. I have seen where only one side has drawers, the other side has nothing but uh, doors on it. So, what did you think of that bathroom? That was definitely a spectacular bathroom, right? So, we got to get on to video number one. Yes, I know I'm trying to keep this short. Not a whole lot uh, of me, so to say. But anyway, video number one is a fairly recent post. Uh, I believe it was, oh, about a month, month and a half ago, I think. Anyway, this one is called the Colorado. The title for this one was Two Homes in One, because kind of realistically it is. Now, it doesn't have a full-on kitchen in the um, in-law suite. Full-on, you know, kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom. I mean, basically like a one-bedroom apartment inside of another home. So they like said this one is called the Colorado. This one was at uh, Homes by Vanderbilt in Sanford, North Carolina. Hope you enjoy, and I will see y'all in just a little bit. Don't forget, at the end of this, we've got some announcements coming up for the channel. I got this really nice three-bedroom, technically four-bedroom, three bath home this one has got your standard two bedrooms for your kids your master bathroom we got a guest suite yes in-law suite guest suite that's got a separate kitchen a separate living room separate bedroom separate bathroom yeah you know it's got it all right over there wait till you see that we're gonna go and we're gonna get the guest area out of the way first in-law suite so there's no stove particularly in here. I'm sure if you wanted one, you could probably option in like a small flat top stove right here if you wanted to. But otherwise, I mean, it's got everything somebody would need. You've got the sink. you got a microwave. you got a refrigerator. Lots of cabinets in here. So basically a full-on kitchen. A good size living room area. Like this is actually the size of a lot of dens or family rooms that you see in some of the other models. So this is a pretty good size area. And then we have our bedroom here. So this is almost like having two homes in one. So we got our full bathroom in here so we'll do hello Raiden in the guest suite for a change and then you get now I think you can probably option in a tub if you wanted to so you could get a shower tub combo this one just has the shower in it which has two benches Light colored shiplap as accents to your entertainment center. Looks really good. We've got the big crown molding all the way around the home. this large island with plenty of seating for four here they've got two plates set up but plenty of seating for four we got electrical outlets on this end I don't believe there was one on the other end I didn't see it when I was walking over this way the perfect spot for your pots and pans drawers because it is right next to your stove over there Nice stack of drawers right next to the dishwasher. Perfect place to put all the utensils away as you're taking them out of the dishwasher. We 
You got the double sink with a nice window above it. Once again, they went all the way to the ceiling with the tile backsplash. Looks really good. Of course, my favorite, the glass hood. Got a large master bedroom here. And then we've got the big walk-in closet with the dual racks at one end. And you can see you've got this nice long single rack. Then we've got a nice stack of drawers, three of them. These are all nice deep drawers. Dual sinks, one large vanity mirror. Big set of cabinets here for your linens. And then we've got the dual shower tiled. I meant to say dual tile shower, <clears throat> but it's really only one shower. He's got two different shower heads, individual handles on each end. And I like the color of the glass inlay to match the uh, color of the tile there. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed those top five videos. They've been you know, some of the best ones I've had. Now, there's always quite a few more that I could have put up. In fact, I really wanted to do a top 10, but I saw that this was already getting to be like a 20 to 25 minute video already just with the top five. So I figured I need to cut it down. Trust me, there's a lot more nice homes. Go back, check the uh, channel for everything that I uploaded this year. Or I should say last year, since this is coming out a little bit on the late side. <laughs> Mr. is over here having a lot of fun. He's got something to say. So, if you're wondering why I'm holding this, it's because uh, I have a Nerf. A Nerf gun? Yeah, it's a Nerf okay, gun. Well, show me your Nerf gun. I actually have one more, and it is insane. There. So, yeah, this is it. All right. This is what it actually looks like. Can I show you guys how to use this? So I told you guys to stay tuned till the end that there would be some big announcements coming up. So one of those announcements is, I'm sure you guys have heard me mention, I work at a parts store. Well, I guess I get to redo the very end of the outro there. So I didn't realize when he left and went and turned his laptop on that my camera was picking up the copyrighted music he was listening to. So I have to redo this section of the uh, outro. Anyway, with that said, so the big announcements was... As you all know, I work for an uh, auto parts store. My plan is within the next two months to uh, quit working there, do strictly YouTube, which will allow better videos for you guys. A little bit more work for me, but uh, like I said, I can deal with that once I'm not working a full-time job. And then also, the other big change that's going to be happening to the channel is when I do quit, Instead of just uploading on Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will be uploading at least for the first six months after I quit my job to kind of help make up that difference in income. I'll be uploading every other day. So that will also unfortunately affect the days that I upload. You know, they will be overlapping some of the other guys that I know some of you watch, like Chance. Like every other week, I'll be uploading basically the same days he does and so on and so forth. So it'll kind of vary from week to week. But I uh, hope you guys will support me in this and continue to watch. Maybe go back and watch some of these other videos and that kind of stuff. Hope to grow the channel quite a bit more this year. So with that, thank you again for watching. Thanks for the support. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Enjoy your 2023.